Okay, we're at the next location. So we're gonna look all around through these rocks before we leave Wyoming. And uh, what am I looking for here? There was a spirally seashell, and she thinks that she found a red colored agate here too. And we're not far from there, so basically like the same kind of stuff, you know? And she probably would have wandered, you know, a rock hound's distance from the car when you're taking a rest break and you're driving. And I see that right here, in this, there's sticks and fossils in there. Wow, that's crazy. Well, it looks like it's a shell. Or something, yeah, a definite print. You see the stick in there? This is where we are exploring. Look at this, you could explore out here forever. Come on, right there. Look at what's at the ground by my feet. Look at this beautiful glassy piece of agate. Look at that. Just gorgeous. And also we have confirmed, confirmed, uh, Fossils found at this location. Look, agate. So the rock is different here, it's for sure different. It's breaking in these cool discs so I believe these are some of the clanky rocks that she was talking about Ooh, look at these materials love the silicates of Wyoming for sure Happy, happy. Definite uh, sharp breaking, very clanky rocks mixed in with all of this. And cement, and old ocean floor limestones, and nails. Poker. Yeah, let you know. Oof. Running over to everything shiny, but looking in between for fossils sticking out of things. Walking in circles. <gasps> Ooh. Yep. Yep, there's a real mixed up batch of agate stuff here. Agate stuff. Okay, we are officially wandering in a spiral, but that's okay. Ooh. Another agate piece. Beautiful. No seashells yet. So I'm glad that we got a bunch at the other spot. There's definite possibility here. We are not far away. But that could be because my brain is just, oh, that's gonna be a nice one right there. 
that I picked up. Oh, it just is. Oh, I can see the color through it. That one's special. And yeah, I'm a little fixated on finding about 50 more of those. Oh, nope, cement. I'm not sure how much of this footage I'm going to leave in here of just the ground rolling by. More beautiful translucent agate material. Yeah, it's here. Been at this for about oh 15 20 minutes now. And we got a little pocket full of goodness. Gonna be able to leave this state with bags of fossils and uh, agates and flints. All the silicates that gathered at the bottom of the oceans and then are now wasting out of the rock, having become rock themselves. Oh, <laughs> look at that. The agates here are just, oh, like I said, I love digging in places that do not have a lot of vegetation on them. Look at that. Fix the camera. Oh. It's just, oh, come on. Come on, thank you Monica. This was a good spot. Here's another big old agate. I will put some backlights on these and include those shots mixed in. So you can see the beauty with light behind it. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at this next agate. Look at that. Yeah, it's freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous.
Wow. Just walk around the surface here randomly. Picking up big old flakes of agate ocean floor. I'm just literally scanning because there's no veg. Far out for shinies and then my eye falls on one from four feet away. How legitimately awesome is that? Awesome. That is a big old agate. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. Unbroken. Can you see the surface of it? Wow. Like I say, I'll backlight that, but ba boom. 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 Get these, these are cool. Getting to that speechless point. Do not bomb through this state without stopping to taste the treasures. That is my advice to you. What's going on with that? I think that's just a piece of quartz. Walk right over here to this one. That one. Beautiful. Oh, what are you? Shiny piece of something beyond it. Not quite agate level. Oh, I said I was going to go back uphill again, but gravity and fines are dragging us into the canyon. Oh, look at these slopes. Okay, one more rotation uphill. And then a drop back down as low as we can go.
as the hourglass winds down on each spot I start picking up my speed and looking for big crazy things. I have not even focused on fossils here because I discovered that the ground was strewn in agates but I was keeping my eyes out because she sent me a picture of a beautiful red agate that she found here so again following the clues this is a beautiful red pink chunk of agate Let's literally put that in the bag of agates that we just picked up. <laughs> this is how I remember my mom my whole life. Rock hunting like crazy, looking for details. That's why I do it, is because this is what my parents did and the types of places where we hung out. And what we did while we were hanging out there. And my brain just grew up looking for all the pretty things that are hidden. In plain sight half the time. I'm like, <gasps> so many things here look like other things and then they're not. And things that you didn't think were, are when you get up there. How exciting. This is really good for you. It keeps your, keeps your hope going. And gets you all excited and then rewarded when you find. Oh, there's quartzite everywhere. Okay, haven't picked up an agate in a while. We're over there, we're getting a bunch. I am going to swirl around the face of this through this field here and back over to where we were. Okay, keep looking, I'm gonna let you go for a second and bring you back when I find something else. Just found something else. Nice big flex egg it laying out here, are you? Here. Are you finding this agate? It's no. Okay, giant brown agates. Yep, we are in an agate field. Oh yeah. Is it? The, yes, that's the stuff. Oh yeah, hold it up to the light. Oh yeah. Yes. Are you sure? Yep. Yep. That one too. Big old agate. Look at that. 
Yeah, see the whole surface to it, still got all its puck and little dishes and stuff on it. Big old uh, uh, Wyoming seafloor agate. Good job. I also have a bag of them. Oh. Well, that's a kind of ugly, not sure. That's the only one I'm not sure of. Okay, let's keep hunting for a little bit. And, uh, good job. Okay, we're gonna meander. See, there's the car over this slope. See a little animal trail wandering through there. Or it could be a human foot. There's the creek. I guess we'll walk over to the creek and then we'll cut back up so we can go down and look in the creek. Does that make sense, right? So they're all the way down to the creek where they were until I got here. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that sure looks like somebody's little uh, little dugout down there from back in the day. Well, guys, I think we have we have poked around at this little part. Of Wyoming now, as much as we poked around in Arkansas, in Missouri, in Alabama. Let's go ahead and go down in this lowest part of this wash here. Oh man, we're gonna have to jaunt over there. Okay, we're in the bottom. It's not lined with gravel and goodies. Let's go back up to the rocks. Yeah, asphalt dump there, gravel dump. And this little, this little path here, and this little path here might be animal, might be pioneer, might be Native American. Following the water through the same gap that everything follows now. You would have been able to use that as a pinpoint to know where you were, no matter how far away you were. You see this little well-worn trail. You never know, it could be a little rabbit trail, but it sure has a little dent to it. There might be a lot of history on this little dent. Might have been just endless ponies and stuff wandering along and before that, feet. Sure, sure looks well worn to me. This one's a little milky, but it's still a big gob of agate. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Looking at all the shiny edge things. Pick this up right there. Oh man, look at that. 
That's where all these bigger pieces will look like that we're picking up when they're sliced thinner. Oh man, look at that. Agate land. Thank you. All of these brown rocks that you see are that very hard material that are also pitted in a really cool way. They clank together like that. Isn't that cool just in its own self? Look at that roundness of it. it reminds me of the singing stones of Africa. We have lots of that here too, but there's some that are like the oldest music instruments that we know of that are polished from human beings sitting there and beating on it. Uh, long, long, long ago. Almost translucent. can all have such really different tones. That's a nice piece of red semi-translucent material right there. You have to take my word for that. Word for that. Oh, I'm just in my a wonder zone of amazement. Wouldn't it be fun to set an entire set of these up with different tones from highest to lowest and then sit there and play a song on it? Get one of the drumming greats to come out and set up a real rock set. So you guys ready to rock?